Hey guys, Mega GMs, welcome to Inside NFTs. Well, it's a fresh new week in NFTs. Will we have another green week like we did last? I know most of us are hoping so. Let's take a look at the NFT market, see how things are shaping up so far on this Monday. Kicking it off with a look at the Forecast 500 NFT index, starting the morning down just 0.4%. In the past seven days, yeah, we're still up 1.37%. Now here's what I find really interesting. So far for the month of October, we're down 4.78%, but I went back through every month this year to to see how October shaping up compared to each of the other months. And you know what I found? It's that October is the second best performing month for NFTs this year. January is the only month we were actually green, up 17.33%. Now prior to October, the second best performing month was April, where we fell 7.45%. So yeah, this action, this energy we felt for the entire month of October, it's the second best month for NFTs yet. And we'll just have to see how November and December play out next. Now taking a look at global NFT sales yesterday. We finished at 11.1 million, down slightly from Saturday. A lot of wash trades yesterday, 11.6 mil in wash sales. On the weekly view is where things look extra spicy. $86.4 million in NFT sales over the past week. That's the most NFT sales we've seen now in nine weeks. But take a look here at average sales prices and wash sales again. That average sales price of over $60, that's the highest in about 16 weeks. And those wash sales of 58.2 million, that's a 14 week high. And again, this very very interesting correlation of Frentech volume decreasing and wash sales going up. In fact, two of the past three days over on Frentech, we failed to see over a million dollars in trading volume. Not a lot of buying into SoFi platforms lately. And actually, over on DeFi Llama, we can see the seven-day change on the biggest SoFi platforms. Really, really rough stretch for all of them here. Total value locked for Frentech down over 6% in the past seven days. Stars Arena down almost 80% here in the past week. And Stars Arena did have some news this weekend. And the CEO named Chill Pill stepping down from his role. And I love this, Tyler putting CEO in quotes. And when someone replied, CEO named Chill Pill tells me enough, Tyler's reply of, I put CEO in quotes for a reason. Yeah, it just sums it all up, doesn't it? All right, we're bouncing all over the place here. Let's get back to Crypto Slam and the top NFT collections. Board Ape Yacht Club at the top, followed by D Market, Mutant Ape Yacht Club, Gods Unchained, Crypto Punks, Sats BRC20, The Captains, Winds of Yawanawa, Sorer, and DraftKings rounding out the top 10. Now today, not a lot of news. We touched on it all weekend, including in our live show on Saturday, which I really love those. I did see some noise this morning about the flooring protocol. Hadn't looked over there in over a week. So I popped over to the website and saw they've added a lot of collections. Last time I looked, it was just Azuki, Pudgy Penguins, and Bored Apes. Looks like all the big collections are over here on the flooring protocol now. But the news on X was coming from Free Lunch Capital, the founder of the flooring protocol, saying they just had their first bank run on an NFT collection over on their platform. One user sensing an opportunity scooped up all of the captains in the vault, which I guess can only happen in the first 20 days of a collection being added to their platform. So this DGen scooped up those captains, stuck them all in his own safe box. That means if you had captains tokens to redeem for a captain's NFT, well, there was no NFTs in the vault for you to pull out. And what does that mean? That means Free Lunch Capital has to go sweep the floor over on Blur or OpenSea to replenish the vault. Now I need to let this swirl around in my brain a little longer so I can see what kind of arbitrage opportunities there are here. But again, that scenario, if there's no NFTs in the vault, Free Lunch Capital has to go buy that collection elsewhere to stick it in the vault. Otherwise, the system breaks. Do with that information what you will. DGENs are going to DGEN. And this is a very normal thing you see on new platforms while people are figuring out mechanics and the ecosystem and poking at holes looking for opportunities. Now, there was a big story a few days ago. Amazon, who we all know has big plans for blockchain and NFTs, well, they're now in the WAX ecosystem and it looks like they're giving away a free NFT to BC Brawlers. BC Brawlers is one of the bigger games on the Wax blockchain. Now I was looking for info on BC Brawlers or blockchain brawlers. I hit up YouTube, do a quick search, and who's got all the content about it? Kagi Jan, of course. If you are into NFT and Web3 gaming, this is the guy to be watching. So he breaks down the game and the opportunities over in blockchain brawlers. So if you're interested in learning about the game, check out Kagi's video. All right, fam, hope your Monday's fantastic. Tomorrow I'll be back with another NFT market update. We'll hit on all the latest NFT happenings. And remember, if it's happening in NFTs, I'm bringing you inside. Until the next time, I'll see you.